All right, folks. Just got finished training, so a gentleman asked me, it's hot in here, so I'm going to have to go through this stuff fast. Okay. Um, one of the problems, I'm going to do a separate video showing the difference between our videos, why the educated consumer is our best customer, I guess. You remember the commercial. <laughs> okay? Which means that you have to know what you're doing, what you're looking for to look at our videos. The way you can tell what we're doing is to, one, look at me, my execution. Not that you shouldn't look at anybody else, but to look at my execution, how I correct people, and my lectures on fighting. In other words, we're a little more scientific than just pulling up people that are advanced so you can say, ooh, ooh look at this, and it doesn't apply to you, okay? So a gentleman asked me, what's the difference between power punching and punching for MMA, whatever, okay? To speed this up, one of the best ways you get power is to get maximum weight in your blows, okay? So to use a sports analogy, I'm going fast, but to use a sports analogy, if you're going to hit a baseball, the way to get the power is to step in. If you're throwing a football, we was talking about this the other day, yesterday, if you're throwing a football and you're supposed to throw release right from your ear, you drop back, you step into the pass. If you're playing tennis and you want to hit the ball with power, you step in, or you step in. Same thing with, with punching, okay, and kicking. So, the execution or the form that you use is dependent upon the goal. It's dependent upon the goal. If you want to use, if the goal is a certain, certain thing, if it's a certain goal, then to many of you, the form wouldn't look good. So I'm going to get Mike in here. So we're going to be here, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to have Dave show you my feet in a minute, right? From here, I might go cross, one, hook, cross, okay? So, I'll hold this up just a little more. So I go one, okay, that's it. So you see my feet. My feet are essentially one, two, three. That's it. So I go a little faster, relax, I go, okay, that's it. That's all. Now, let's look at a, that same thing, but from a self-defense point, okay? From a self-defense point, I will go, okay, again. It's a totally different thing. At some point, I'm gonna slow this down, I want you to see my feet. Okay, Dave, you bring the camera. You wanna do, you see my feet? Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm gonna go. This is for, you can't see my hands, but this essentially is what you consider good form. Watch my feet. Okay, you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going one, two, three. Or well, better yet, I'm going one, two, three. I'm throwing across, hook, cross. So in, shift, and punch. Now, he's gonna show you my feet, and I'll slow it down so you can see what I mean when I throw a self-defense or a, uh, a preemptive cross hook cross. So preemptive cross hook cross is Okay, so to show you my body again, cross hook cross, Okay, and these are the things that you want to look at that many of you will say is good form. You know, 100,000 subscribers, a guy does this. He goes, one, two, three. So he goes, okay, and you like that. That's totally different than a preemptive cross hook cross. Preemptive cross hook cross, you're not worried about form. Your hands might be from here but you want to get as much power or much weight distribution into it as possible. So you're going to go one, swing this around, and swing this in. Okay, so the first one, good form, according to you, one, three. Okay, one more time. Okay. Self-defense one.
There's a difference. Thanks, Mike. Okay? So, when you want to talk about power, the way you get your power is to get as much of your weight into your punch. So I'll make them. Get as much of your weight into your blows as possible. Whether you're shifting forward, shifting to the side, shifting to the side, okay? That's how you want to do it, okay? All right, save Carmen, Mike, Dave, see you on the next video.